TV here. This video is called Mastering Mangrove Snapper. I've been going out with a lot of my friends that don't have a lot of mangrove snapper fishing, and especially for these 10, eh, maybe 8 to 12 inch fish, feeling the bite can be the really difficult part. They really like to nibble on it quite a bit before they take the bait. So with the snapper, what I do is I use a one aught hook and uh, I use personally owner circle hooks with either a live shrimp or a piece of cut bait and you just have to let the fish nibble and nibble and nibble until it feels like it's pulling the rod out of your hand. Everybody, especially bass fishermen, have this jerk the rod as soon as they feel the bite and I'm guilty of that myself. But if you want to get these guys mangrove snapper, especially when you're fishing weight on the bottom, this is the way to go. If you wait, you wait, you wait until you feel the fish slam it. And that's when, if you're using a circle hook, the fish will already be hooked for you. Now, as a side note, this does not apply to free lining for yellowtail and snapper. This is only when you're fishing weight on the bottom, under bridges and on patch reefs. I've done it in both places, but it's a good tactic. It works for me, it works for my friends, and I hope it works for you. Mangrove. Huh? I said that's my keeper mangrove. Yeah, it's under the bushing. Keeps trying to get me in the rocks. Okay, I can keep it on the outside of this. That's my boy. It's probably the second biggest one. Here we go. Feels like a snapper. Hey, hey! Oh, that's a keeper. Caught it on the rod. You know what, bud? I'm gonna throw you in the cooler, see if you get off by yourself. Yeah, he's marginal. Could be a jack or a snapper, but if it runs twice, it's probably not a snapper. Right. Oh yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, Let's yeah, go. <laughs> that is what we want right there. Am I caught up on here now? Nah. That is what I'm talking about. I think I might. Hey, fish is fish. Look at that. Yeah, that's like longer than my whole 13 inch cooler. Yeah, I don't give a shit. This is like a eight inch mangrove, I think. Huh? Said I, this feels like an eight inch mangrove. You can feel that it fights a little bit harder, but Ah, oh, that might. It's crazy though, like the difference between like a 10 and a 12 inch mangrove. And what way? Like the way they bite? Yeah. Like a full mature. Yeah. Nope. This one's gold.
so weird how I could come here two days in a row and one day it's like snappers with some big jacks and today it's like all small jacks. Guess you got one. Oh, there we go. That's what we want. That looks like that might be a... Yeah. You want to... You can hand me that cooler if you want. I, I drew one on the cooler. Come on, be a snapper. Might be another one. Ah, as long as you get in in the front, it's fine. I was a little bit worried about that too. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that was a slam. Huh? I said that was a slam. Like it just wasn't like the nibble nibble pussy putting around. It just kind of whacked it. Still got it on? Yeah. Uh, right on the verge. I think I'm going to let this one go. I have a feeling this one's like nine. Yeah. Uh, this one's like nine and three quarters. There we go. Alright, I need to figure out. <laughs> That's a keeper. Like a keeper? Yep. 